Kings, Glasgow, Barts, Cardiff. Including these, there are around 15 different dental universities across the UK. So which one is the right one for you? So in this video, I'm gonna be going through different scenarios or requirements that people may have when looking at dental schools. And based off that, which one might be the best for you? So the first thing we're gonna look at is location. So down in the south, we have universities such as Plymouth, Bristol, Cardiff, and in London, there's Queen Mary and King's College London. Moving up, we have Birmingham, Sheffield, Liverpool, Manchester, Lancashire, and Leeds. Now over in Northern Ireland, there's Queen's Belfast, and up in the north of England and in Scotland, we have Newcastle, Glasgow, Dundee, and Aberdeen. So they're vastly spread out across the country, and I would recommend if you have any interest in any of them, go and check out the local area, um, possibly on the open day, or just have a day trip to each one of them, so you can familiarise yourself with the area and see if it suits you, because you don't want to apply to university, get in, and you realise that the area isn't really suitable for you, doesn't really suit your needs, and you're going to be staying there for at least five years. And on top of that, you need to check if it's a campus or a city. So a campus is usually everything's in the same area, so lecture halls, cafes, accommodation, um, students union, everything in the same place. Whereas a city is more like spread out across a city. So that allows you to commute between your accommodation and your lecture halls, allowing you to explore the city a bit more. But it is still a commute where if you prefer a campus, everything is just together and you don't need to travel that much. You know, you could wake up at 8.59 and still make it for your 9am. Speaking about accommodation, what kind of accommodation are you into? See what's out there. Is it private accommodation or is it actual university accommodation that they have there? The availability of them, the price of them as well, as well as how many people you're sharing a kitchen with or even a bathroom with. Because some rooms um, are ensuite and some rooms don't have an ensuite. And one thing to look out for is that some rooms may be exclusive to medicine dentistry students. So in Barts we have Floyd and Dawson which are exclusive to medicine and dentistry students. Um, but unfortunately, neither of them have an ensuite, so you have to be sharing your toilets with someone. Whereas over in the Mile End campus, which is for the, all the other students in, the, in Queen Mary, some of them do have ensuites, but at the same time, those rooms may have way more students in them. So the one I stayed in had about a 10, 11. So if you didn't do biology, you can apply to many different universities. So Bart's, King's and Bristol, all they ask for is chemistry and one other science, so you don't have to do biology. But on the other hand, if you did do biology and you didn't do chemistry, you're a bit more limited, but there are universities out there that still um, accommodate for that. And a great example of this is Plymouth with UCAT cutoff of 2,510. Unfortunately, they have a little bit more requirements saying that, that you need to have completed your A-levels within five years of you uh, applying for dentistry. So for example, if you were applying for 2023 entry, you would have to have done your A-levels um, the earliest 2018. If not, you would need to do the um, GAMSA, which is what the graduates have to take when they want to apply for Plymouth. Another big thing of the application is the UCAT. So either you can have a really, really high one, sitting around maybe 2,800 or a low one. Looking at the high one, Birmingham, Bristol and Manchester are great if you have a high UCAT. Birmingham, the mean interviewed score in 2022 was 2,822. Bristol, the cutoff score in 23 was 2,850. And Manchester, their mean interview score in 2021 was 2,720. So unless you're getting those kind of numbers in your UCAT, I wouldn't be applying to those. Instead, if you got a low UCAT, I would apply to places such as Cardiff, Dundee and Bots. So Cardiff, they have an average UCAT score of 2,482. Um, and this was in 2021. Dundee have an average score of 2,591 in 2022. And Bart, the lowest score that I think that was interviewed was 2,400. But I would say that you need to at least get a score of 600 on average, so that's 2,400, and band three um, to apply to dental school. There may be some people out there who haven't even done science in their A-levels, but have grown an interest towards dentistry. Um, and you can still apply. So there are universities that have a foundation year, so it's a six year course um, for you to do that. So for example, Manchester have a course like that. Um, so if you have decided to change your track, you can still go through that that route but, but this isn't just for someone that didn't achieve high in those science A-levels It's for someone that hasn't done any, any science A-levels at all So if you didn't do well in your A-levels or you've got low predicted So the universities that you want to look for 
are places like Plymouth, which has a low entry requirement compared to the others. You can also look for contextual offers as well. So perhaps you live in an area that um, is underprivileged in terms of education and you can apply for contextual and your entry requirement may fall as low as BBB. So that'd be really good if you have those sort of conditions. As well, you can do a foundation year in Bristol um, if you didn't do as well in your A-levels, which is also an option. So just because you don't get the A star AA that most of the universities ask for, doesn't mean it's wraps. There are still options out there for you, even if that means doing a, another degree and then doing dentistry. And in terms of doing a degree first, the graduate entry universities, which are Lancashire and Aberdeen, um, in terms of the UCAT, the lowest UCAT score in Lancashire was 2,552. And Aberdeen, there isn't a UCAT at all. And if you're interested in the graduate entry pathways, I've made a video on that over here, explaining the three different pathways into dentistry as a graduate.